Perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. Solution number two. Seems they tried. Is that very, very hard? Alright, this is pretty damn interesting. Not being sarcastic here, actually. Wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out. bridge has been laid all right because we slowly open up this place huh oh boy what is a fact is it fixed immutable certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer, and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. What the shit? If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand more? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. make us safe in this way we would change the consensus we would save the world but it never came to be we sent a dozen of them skyward but there was no way to maintain control to direct the beam to enthrall the world to speak the words Apples. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. Alright. Well, we're getting desperate then. Weren't they? Can't say I'm surprised. Alright. Oh, that looked awkward, doesn't it? Whoop. What did you do? What the fuck? Our first instinct was to travel back, to change the past, but we could not find a way. But forward, we could look forward, and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come. The next. First, we wanted to learn if our work would succeed. But the answer was always the same, so we moved on to other things. But she remained. The one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking. And instead... 
instead began to speak. She called out across time in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. <laughs> Tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. Well, I don't really have anything that I could use yet, do I? here actually I think no fucking clue where I am at the moment <laughs> oh boy all right let's try to find my way out of here right shall I Back here, and I'm gonna jump into the Animus. Good luck, Desmond. Again. So. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frayed, and behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control, but how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they Come already up. spun? Spare All a these moment. things I must determine. Of course. For only Never by look. knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. What is it? Xing Bao, or Rope Dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold, and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. He'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. 
You could have used a tree. <laughs> you could. Hey, there you go. Got a nice ass tomahawk now. All right. So there's a mission here somewhere. Is it up here? It's in the house. All right. Let's check it in the house. It has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead. A true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. Hold F to analyze. <laughs> Captain Book. Okay. Press to sign oak lumber to the resource lab. Okay. Okay. Crafted barrels. Bait. Cartridge. Okay, I'm not sure. All right. <laughs> 